name is Trisha Roos and my daughter was Annabelle Marie Roos. In 2014, my son Cameron started asking for a lady baby because at daycare his little friend had gotten a little sister and he thought, you know, just go to the store and buy a lady baby. Um, so Jonas and I started talking and about having another child and my doctor called me and said that it was a girl and that she tested positive for trisomy 18. I had no idea what that meant. I had no idea what trisomy 18 was, but I quickly realized that that was something that most people considered incompatible with life, meaning that most people have an abortion. And from there, we just really had to think and pray on what our decision would be at that time. And we did not feel comfortable with an abortion. I saw it as an opportunity just to give something a chance and we would let that decision be in God's hands. During my pregnancy, the volleyball team was my lifeline. I just had these amazing high school girls rally around me. They knew that um, it was a hard time and they promised to give everything they could at practice and that's exactly what they did. So we went on that season to win a state championship and it was the easiest state championship of all the state championships I've ever won because those girls did it for Annabelle and they did it for us and they did it for a higher purpose. There were tons of doctors and nurses in the room because she was not ever supposed to even breathe one breath. Uh, she not only had trisomy 18, but she had a two chamber heart. And so doctors predicted that it would be a stillbirth. So when we had Annabelle, uh, it took about four minutes for her to breathe. As soon as I heard that breath, I just knew like she was alive and they brought her to me immediately. Um, and then from then on, every day uh, we had with her, every minute we had with her was an incredible miracle. Doctors, nurses, NICU nurses, everybody was incredibly surprised. And we actually got to take her home and she did pass away um, in my arms at home. And I think a lot of people have asked me over time, would you do that again? I know that was so hard. It was terrible, I'm sure, going through it. And I just always say yes, because to me, um, I was able to have God write her story. I was able to um, get to see her and know who she was. Um, and I think that in sharing her story with others, as I've done um, over the years has been very impactful to just show people that every life matters, no matter how short their life is. I hope that through our journey with Annabelle, that people can be encouraged to know that through tragedy can come extreme beauty and through life's trials and storms and hardships, um, that you do become stronger and you can learn so much. Um, so I like um, to share the message that whatever you wish and dream of, it may be what you think is right for you, but there may be a bigger plan. There may be um, something that God has in store for you that you won't know unless you go through some trials.